7.6 is the solubility product constant. So here, when we're talking about the solubility, as you see, we have solid, you dissolve it in water, it turns into the ions Cu plus and Cl negative. As you see here, we have AQ and AQ there, because now they are in water. Here it is in solid form in water, so it is turned turn into the ion. If you want to write the K for that, uh, remember to, to write the K, we do not write the solid or liquid. That's the product, the concentration of the product divided by concentration of the reactant, but my reactant is solid, so I don't write it. So concentration of the Cu multiplied by concentration of Cl. The coefficient is one and one here, so the power of each bracket here is one. So this is a K. Here the constant K, if you look at the table, uh, for solubility as 1.7, 10 power negative seven at 25 degrees Celsius, very low. Here is another example, Ca3PO4, uh, give you three CaAQ plus two PO4 AQ. And then you write the KSB, the solubility, right? Solid to the AQ. So CA, concentration of CA to the power of three, concentration of PO4 to the power of two, and 2.1 10 power negative 33 at 25 degrees, the KSP of that, which is very low. The KSP for the, uh, in this table is given for some, some of these solids. So here, look at the question. Magnesium fluoride is a hard, slightly soluble salt that is used to make as spectral lenses for technical instrument. Calculate KSP for magnesium fluoride at 25 degrees Celsius, given the solubility is 0 0.001. So magnesium fluoride is MgF2. In water, it turns the Mg ion and the F ion. So you need to balance it. You put the two in front of F. KSP for that is the products, right? So consideration of the Mg multiplied consideration of F to the power of two. Why power two? Because the coefficient here is, is two. Now, knowing that concentration of MgF2 and Mg have the same, concentration because the coefficient is one and one here, right? Also concentration of the F is twice of concentration of the MGF2 because the coefficient here is two. So if we have 0 0.00172, we, we were dissolved that, um, in water, right? So, okay, since the solubility is gram per milliliter, we wanna convert it into the mole per liter, right? Uh, so since Mg concentration of that is equal to MgF2, so this is the concentration of uh, MgF2, right? So, which is 0 0.00172 gram per milliliter. One mole of MgF2 is 62.31 gram. And 1000 milliliter is one liter. Why the milliliter should be off? Because you wanna cancel milliliter and milliliter. That's why they should be in all position. And you wanna turn that to the list. That's why the liter should be in denominator here. Already more to the gram because the gram is up. You want to turn it to the most of gram is up. The gram should be down here in order to turn it into the mole. So that would be 2.8 10 power negative 4 mole per liter. So since this is Mg and you know the concentration of the F is twice of the Mg, you know, because this is twice of the Mg, Mg is one, is two. <laughs> so multiplying this one by two will give you the uh, concentration of the F. Now we have concentration of F and Mg at equilibrium. So write the KSP for the above formula. Concentration of F power to concentration of Mg. 
So we got those values there and it's gonna be KSP. There is another way to do that. So you could say that at the beginning, there is nothing for MGNF and the changes here is plus X plus two X. So zero plus X is X, zero plus two X is two X. And make sure we don't write any concentration for solid, solid don't. Then knowing that X is 2.8, 10 power negative four. So we, we can find two X, then, you know, it's just x multiplied by 2x to the power of 2, right? And that would be your KSP is another way to do that. Calculate the molar solubility of the zinc hydroxide at 25 at KSP is given. So since you know that OH, the concentration of the OH is twice of the zinc. So for KSP is Zn multiply by concentration of the OH to the power of two. Also the KSP is given. So instead of KSP, we can put 7.7 10 power negative um, 17. Since concentration of this uh, OH is twice of Zn, as you see there, in the set of concentration of the Zn, uh, in the set of concentration of OH, we can put Z2 Zn. Then two power two is four, Zn multiplied by Zn power two, Zn power three, divide both sides by uh, four and take a cubic root of both sides. You got the concentration of the Zn and you know the concentration of the Zn and Zn OH are the same. That's why this gives you the, this is the same as concentration of Zn OH. Here is, um, you can do another way using the I stable, you'll get the same answer. Okay, for practice, do question number one, two, three, and four. Here is the solubility rule that we have done it in grade 11, just uh, to review that. The CLBR and I is highly soluble with group one, with most of the ion, including group one. Yes. Uh, and here is low solubility. The CL is low soluble with AGPBTI. So these are the exceptions, right? That is very slightly soluble. For example, AGCL will give you solid, but NACL, which is NA is group one, NACL give you very high solubility. Same thing. So let's just look at that question. Um, here, we did talk about Q before. Q is uh, when you don't, when your uh, reaction is not reach equilibrium, we have Q. So it depends on the value of the Q, your reaction going to the right or left. Here, let's say the concentration of the Cu and Cl is given, you can uh, establish the Q equation, concentration of Cu multiple concentration of Cl. It's if you have a concentration of the Cu and Cl, just 4.1 times for negative four, you find your Q, and you see your Q is less than KSP. What does it say? Since the Q is less than SP, it means this numerator of the Q need to go up in order to reach equilibrium, in order to reach the value of the KSP, right? Therefore, your product here need to increase. Therefore, the, the, the reaction need to go forward. Okay, looking at this question, if 100 milliliter of 0.1 mole per liter of the CaCl2 and 100 milliliter of 0.04 mole per liter of Na Na2SO4 are mixed as 20 degree, determine whether a precipitate will form for CaSO4 at 20, and KSP is given for that case before CaSO4 is given. Okay, we write that equation. Reaction CaCl2 plus Na2SO4 give you CaSO4 NaCl. If you look at the above um, table, CaSO4, SO4 here, and with Ca it has low solubility, means it's going to be solid. As you see, we put a solid here. And NaCl, if you check in the table, we see it is AQ. Now, uh, for CaCl2, the concentration of that 100 milliliter in 0 0.1, see? 
CaCl2, the concentration of Ca ion and CaCl2 will be the same because the coefficient is 1, 1. And also for um, Na2SO4, again, the ratio of the SO4 to the whole molecule is 1 to 1. So that's why it has the same um, concentration, which is 0 0.04. It's given to you in the question. It's uh, 0 0.04 mole per liter. But these are before mixing. After we mix them, of course, the volume will change, true? And we had 100 milliliter of that, 100 milliliter. Of it. You mix it, the volume becomes 200 milliliter. We can put it like in ratio. Um, before you had 100 milliliter, now you have 200. So basically you multiply your, your value here, multiply it by 100 and you divide it by 200 to get new concentration. The same thing, to get the new concentration, 0 0.04, you multiply by 100, you divide it by 200. If you wanna see it better, you know, concentration, is equal to mole per liter, right? N divided by V. If I have new volume, let's say this is V1. If I have new volume, I multiply it by new volume and I divide it by D, sorry, I multiply by old volume and divide it by the uh, new volume. In this way, it will give me new concentration, right? So, so the old concentration was N divided by V1. So this is concentration. If I wanna find the new concentration, I just multiply it by the volume, the old volume, and I divide it by new volume to give me the new concentration as we do here. So either here is old volume divided by new volume. So give me, new concentration, you do it for both of that. Now, we have the new concentration. Also, the case before CSO4 is given means CSO4 turn it to the ion, give you CA and SO4. You establish your Q, CA and SO4, the, the quotient is one, so the power of that is one. We got our new concentrations, right? So. We put the concentrations 1, 10 power negative 3. The KSP is given to 3.6, 10 power negative 1, we, negative 3. We need to compare them. We see that the Q is less than Q, it is less than KSP. This reaction needs to reach equilibrium, it means the Q need to get higher, it means this concentration of CNSO4 need to become bigger. So these side need to become bigger. That's why I go forward. When it go forward, what is that? The, that the precipitation not happening because the reverse reaction, it will give you the solid, but forward reaction, it will give you AQ. So the precipitate of this uh, will not happen. Okay. Here's another example, would precipitate lead from 255 milliliter of this 0.0016 mole per liter lead nitrate is pured into 456 milliliter of that. So, okay, so you do the same things, just write down the reaction. These are your old concentrations. Now, the new volume, just adding these two that you are mixing, the new volume. And for each of this concentration, you need to find the new concentration, right? This is all concentration before mixing. Now you wanna find the concentration after mixing. So you multiply it by um, old volume divided by new volume, the same thing old volume divided by new volume. 
to find the concentration of the each. Then you establish your Q. When you find your Q, here you see Q is, Q is uh, 10 power negative nine is less than K, right? This is negative one, this is negative eight. So Q is less than that. Again, the reaction needs to go forward because this need to go up. It means this concentration needs to go up. This need to go up. It's gonna be forward reaction. As you see the forward reaction, the first phase will not happen. Okay, let me just check back the previous one. Did I say it right? So yeah, again, this one Q was less than KSP. Oh, okay, I think I made a mistake here, guys. The Q here, so the power is that negative three and here is negative five. Of course, the Q is greater than K, KSP. So Q is greater than KSP, what does it mean? This is a previous example. It means Q needs to lower down, right? This need to go down. So this side need to go down, means the reverse reaction happening. Reverse reaction happening means the solid will form. <coughs> but, sorry, for this one is going forward, therefore the, it's not gonna precipitate, they will not happen. So using trial ion products. So if you have a common ion, it will affect the direction of uh, your reaction. So looking at this question, what is the molar solubility of PBCl2 in 0.2 mole per liter of NaCl solution as SATP? See PBCl2, the Cl, it has a Cl ion and here it has a Cl ion, right? Of course you have a common ion. So it will, this NaCl is a strong, uh, so when you, Turn, when you dissolve it in water, it's completely turned to the ion. So you want to see how much Cl is introduced to the water because the Cl and Cl here is in common. NaCl turns to Na and Cl. If the concentration of NaCl is 0 0.2, the ratio is 1 to 1, right? 1 to 1. That's why the concentration of Cl is 0 0.2. We write the reaction. So PbCl2 give you Pb and Cl. So here's two way, two way reaction. KSP of that is given. Now you need to do the ice table, right? At the beginning, there is uh, no PBCL2. You just have 0 0.2 from NaCl, right? Initially, you have that. Now, when you pour that in, Changing concentration gonna be plus X. Here is plus two X and here is X and here is 0 0.2 plus two X, right? Now, just establish your KSP equation. So it's gonna be concentration of PB, multiple the concentration of CL to the power of two. Here's gonna be X and here's gonna be 0 0.2 plus two X to the power of two. You need to solve for X. Here we can use the 100 rules, 0 0.2 divided by 1.7, 10 power negative five is bigger than 100. So we can ignore these two X. And here it just put 0 0.2 there. So then you rearrange it for X and that would be your X. Okay, so the X, is will be given and you can find the concentration of Cl, just 0 0.2 plus two multiplied by X would be the um, 0 0.2 plus two X, which will give you um, that. The reason is that, so let me see. Yeah, 4.2 10 bar negative X. Why does it say the same? Because X here is very, very small compared to 0 0.2. Of course, it will dominate. Okay, for practice, do question number seven, eight, and nine. 